What's up guys? Every time we're in Miami, we got to check out our buddy's shop. This is one of our good buddies, Alejandro's. It's called Imperial Reptiles. If you're in the Miami area, make sure you check them out. Uh, we're gonna, I'm going to give you a small tour, show you guys what's going on. Got to get my mask on because, you know, Miami is COVID central. So, must wear a mask. All right. I hope you guys enjoy this video. That's Alejandro back there. Alejandro's got one of the nicest shops in Miami. Just look at these setup, guys. These are for a lot of the amphibians, dart frogs. What else you put in here, Alejandro? Any type of day gecko. We can keep some uh, your flattest geckos in there too. Look at that guy. It's a gorgeous albino Pac-Man frog. Wow, did that just fluctuate? Yeah. It does. Yeah, what? Dude, this is a dope setup. This is something I would keep in my house, let alone. Do you mind if I open it? Okay, so this is your house. <laughs> wow, bro, this is amazing. You can even has rainforest background noise to keep all the amphibians happy and healthy. Got some gorgeous green and black Aratus dart frogs down here. These are actually one of my personal favorites. They have some of the more vibrant colors, even of the dart frog, poison dart frogs. Some bumblebees. Here is a crazy little black dragon, AKA a melanistic Asian water monitor. These are one of the most sought after monitors in the world. Um, it's just, it's still an Asian water monitor, so it's gonna get that. It can't get that eight, nine feet long, but just jet black. Even the eyes, man, absolutely incredible animals. You can tell a little feisty, but that's pretty, that's a good sign. You know, that it always shows that it's a healthy monitor, um, but just absolutely stunning, man. That's like, these are one of my favorite monitors in the entire world. I can't even imagine that like eight feet long jet black. And they'll get darker as it gets older. Oh, wow. Okay, so these guys will get darker as they get older and if you guys want one of these, be prepared because they will get very big. That's awesome. Look at that tail. Very smart animals, man. Monitors are one of the smartest reptiles in the entire world. Um, and so you work with them, you do gotta, you know, enrich them and stuff. All right, here we have another stunning monitor. This is actually a blue tree monitor. They're a monitor that hangs out in the in the upper canopies of the trees. And as you can tell, it gets its name from its blue coloration. Um, one of the more common ones that people will see are the green tree monitors. And then there's also black tree monitors. Just another very, very gorgeous, smart animal. Um, and this specific blue tree can only be found on one island in Indonesia, on the Bantana Islands. So they're one of the rarer ones. And they also get the largest too out of all the tree monitors. And what do you feed these guys? So these guys eat anything, large insects, turkey, Pinky mice, larger mice, pretty much anything that's smaller than them, they'll overpower. Yeah, this is also a species we've wanted to keep for a very long time, the blue trees and the green trees. And hopefully one day, you know, we'll be able to have some, but Alejandro has an, a gorgeous pair. This is actually the male. And as you, it's kind of hard to tell the color in here, but these guys are just so, so stunning. Absolutely vibrant animals. Their nails are gnarly. <laughs> yeah, man, they use those nails to climb in the trees. You see my white skin. You'll start seeing me <laughs> tore up real quick. So Alejandro always, always has an incredible selection of these boas. This is something we've been also getting into lately. If you, for you guys who check out our website, this is an albino red tail boa, and this guy's moving around a little bit. These are honestly one of my favorite snakes in the entire world. The reason is they're very hardy always always eat they never give you any problems like some of the ball pythons and let me move for you or some of like the other snakes but vigorous vigorous eaters um right out of the egg 
this guy's moving around a little bit. But, and always take frozen thawed, usually like nothing. And these guys do get big. The, these are Colombians, so the males are gonna get about four or six feet, while the females can get up to eight, even sometimes 10 feet. So this is a good sized snake. Um, they're actually in the wild semi-arboreal, so you can do either a flatter setup or you could even do like an arboreal setup like kind of we have some of our keepers. All right, man, so what do we got here? This is a uh, red-tailed boa, huge female that was given to us by a customer. They took great care of her. As you can tell, yeah. she's about five feet now. Still got a lot of room to grow though. What locality? What locality? What, uh, is it a uh, Guyana, right? Or a Suriname? Yeah, I think it's a Suriname. Suriname? So these are red, uh, true red-tailed boas. The South American ones like the Guyana, Suriname, um, Bolivian, uh, Paraguay, Peruvian, all those are considered true red tail boas. And, and these guys get bigger than the Emperors, which are the Central Americans from, um, including Colombia, Colombia, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, all those get a little bit smaller. These guys get that, th that big and thick size. And as you can see, this one's very, very tame, man. I can even mess with the head. Doesn't do anything, just wants to curl around, explore. These are, like I said, man, like I say many times, these guys are one of my favorite snakes in the whole wide world, um, especially being from South America. Just an iconic snake with that gorgeous red tail. The Surinams and the Guyanas, in my opinion, have some of the best colored red tails of all of the red tail boas. You can see puppy dog tame. How big is this, is this one? I think about five feet now. Five feet? Five, five feet. So it half. still has a lot of, of growing yeah, to do. Yeah, like three, four feet. Yeah. So, wow. Just these guys make excellent pets, great feeders, like I mentioned before. Easy to take care of. One of my favorite six in the entire world. All right, guys, that wraps up this video. Hope you enjoyed the tour. And if you're in Miami, please check out Alejandro Imperial Reptiles, an incredible store. Uh, make sure you follow them. What do you guys got? Instagram, Instagram, Snapchat. Facebook. YouTube, Snapchat, yep. a and, little bit of everything. And their website's imperialreptiles.com. Make sure you check them out. Make sure you follow us as well. And until next time, guys, stay safe. Like us, wearing the mask, being safe. Stay safe out there. We love you guys. See you next week. Peace out, guys.